Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm excited because today I'm going to be taking these Vibergs here in color 8 Chrome XL that I've had since 2014 and I'm going to be conditioning them with Armstrong's All Natural Leather Care products. Um, I've never really conditioned these before. The only thing that I've used on these is some Venetian. As you can see, they have uh, aged quite a bit. You can see all the ripples in the leather there. And uh, there's some weird black splotches, like sort of gunk. I don't know how to describe it, but it's sort of, uh, especially on the heel there, you can see I'm sort of pointing it out. We're starting to get some color, some miscoloration going on in certain areas and the black residue, whatever that is on the boot, I'm baffled by, I have no idea what it is. Um, here I'm pointing out a little, there's a small, there's a gash in the leather there that it was sort of cut and it's sort of hanging off there to the side. Just inspecting both of the boots, kind of showing the, the battle scars. Now I'll admit between my two pairs of Vibergs, I have the brown ones in Chrome XL as well. Uh, the brown ones I'm a lot harder on. These these color eight ones are actually pretty babied. I've been more delicate with these. When it comes to a situation where I run the risk of damaging them, I usually don't wear them. All right, here we go. This is the conditioner. This is this is probably the most effective part of the conditioning process. Uh, this is the part where it's a deep to deep level moisturizer. If if you're into lotions, that's that's what this is doing. I'm applying a generous coat and then I'm going to wait 24 hours before moving on to the next step. Reason being is you just want the conditioner, you want to give it a chance to settle, to soak in, to really absorb all the way through every layer of the leather. And so if the leather is dried out or it's starting to crack possibly, then that's a good application for this because it's going to get in there and, and lubricate that leather that's been neglected for so long. And I've had these for five years now, and I noticed that they're starting to dry out just a tad. So despite Chrome XL going through intensive processing at the Horween Tannery, where it's imbued with all sorts of different lipids, it still can dry out, as we can see here. And this is one of my favorite pairs of boots. I mean, they're just so beautiful. Look at the, the burgundy on the upper, and then you also have the two-tone with the tongue. And I love throwing on the black rawhide laces to accentuate the black contrast against the burgundy. And this is the part of the conditioning that might be the most important, getting it all along the welt. I like to use a Q-tip to really make sure that the conditioner gets into that stitch down welt. There, that leather is probably the most vulnerable because over time, that, that's the part, that's the portion of the boot that probably takes the most stress between the upper and the sole. And you wanna make sure that that's properly conditioned so that it doesn't crack because if it cracks then you have a whole new problem and you might not be able to resole the boot and so it's absolutely crucial to, to get this part done I think even even if you're not going to condition the whole boot maybe doing this every so often wouldn't be a bad idea okay and this is a full 24 hours after applying the conditioner yep there we go that's what you get <laughs> there's the cylinder filled with all the good stuff okay now we're going to get into the burgundy wax very nice color there as you can see, it's a little off from the color of the Vibergs. It's not quite the same shade of burgundy, but once you rub it in, you can't tell. Once you really get it going, they sort of meet in the middle, I think. <laughs> the hue of the Armstrong's burgundy boot wax is just a little bit more on the warm side compared to the color rate in the Vibergs. So maybe a little bit of a tomato shade thrown in there, maybe, I don't know. But um, I'm not at all concerned. It's not going to really deeply impact the color and I trust this stuff this stuff is really good it really makes the boots look very well taken care of when people look at your boots afterwards they're gonna say oh my god these are some well cared for boots <laughs> now I'm being careful not to get it on the sole because I do love that natural the antique sole the contrast of the sole so I, I don't want to color the sole at all but I am gonna try to get as close to the sole as possible and this is this is the uh, project that I'm kind of more excited for because I get to use two of the colored waxes not just one obviously we're using the burgundy and then on the black tongue I'm gonna be using the black wax here we go it's time for the black wax and again I've talked about this before and I, I have used this stuff before on 
my black chrome excel trumans but this stuff just smells so good it's such a bright orange smell it's not what you're used to smelling with boot care products you know usually like with kiwi they, it has that sort of harsh petroleum smell this does not have any of that this is this is really good stuff smells good you're not worried when you get it on your skin like oh is this is this toxic nope not at all all right time to buff it out this is the best part here's the end results look at that glow it has now it's not it's not like a mirror shine which is never what I'm going for it's more of just a very bold solid glow that they have afterwards that's the best way I could kind of describe it <laughs> I think compared to the beginning, they just look so much better. This is, and this is what I'm talking about. They look better than when they were new, in my opinion now. That they're really, this is the phase that you want to get to. When the leather has formed a nice patina, and then you start to recondition them, this is the phase of the boot that's my favorite that I'm the most excited about. This is the phase that says, yep, these are loved and these are well cared for. It also says that these get a lot of use. So anyways, I think this wraps it up. Thanks a lot for watching. I am on Instagram if you want to follow me there. You can track how these patina over time as I post pictures of them whenever I wear them. Um, my username is LV. So uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.